Welcome to Lasea class. I am your teacher, Jan Lasea. Today we are going to learn how to create an assembly project. The materials that we need. First, Notepad 2 Text Editor. This is the text editor to edit assembly source code. Second, Microsoft Macro Assembler. I use the version 6.14.8444. This is the compiler that translates assembly code into machine language. Lastly, the Microsoft Incremental Linker. I use the version 5.12.8078. This binds the machine language to library of routines and generates an executable file. Let us proceed to the startup project folder that I prepared. The template folder is the startup project. Copy the folder template to preserve its original contents for future use. I right click this folder and select copy. I right click in this location and select paste. I right click that folder and select rename. I will rename into activity number one. Let us browse inside this folder and examine its contents. The lasea.inc file contains prototypes, macros, and directives. Let us read the contents of this file. I right click this file and point to open with, select choose default program, click the browse button, locate the folder notepad2, browse inside, and then select notepad2.exe file. Click open, check this checkbox, and then click OK to open. I made a Win32 console application library for input, output, and conversion routines to simplify assembly code. We find macro definitions, symbol declarations, and procedure prototypes. Let us close this file. Next, the file lasea.lib contains the machine language of my routines. The linker binds this library to our code and generates an executable file. The link.exe file is the Microsoft incremental Linker. The file m.bat contains shell scripts. Let us read the contents of this file. I right click and select edit. I wrote shell scripts commands to automate the process of compiling, linking, and executing the assembly project. Let us close this file. The ml.exe file is the Microsoft Macro Assembler. The mspdb50.dll is the Win32 API Dynamic Link Library. The compiled assembly project loads and calls this file during runtime. Finally, the prog.asm file is the startup assembly source code. Let us open the contents of this file. I right click this file and select Open With 
and select Choose Default Program. Click the Browse button. Locate the folder Notepad2. Browse inside. Select the file notepad.exe. Then click Open. Check this checkbox. And then click OK to open up in Notepad2 text editor. Let us edit, compile, and run to test. I proceed to the data segment and declare some memory variables. I will declare memory variable msg1. I will assign define byte and initialize a string. Next, I will declare another memory variable, message2. I will assign divine byte and initialize a string. Let us proceed inside the code segment under the main procedure. I will write instruction commands to display the contents of the two memory variables that I declared above. And I will begin by typing this command, set text color. The set text color will uh, Change the for color and background color of the text to be displayed. The light green indicates the for color, whereas the black indicates the background color. Next, I will type this procedure go to XY to move the cursor to a X and Y location. I will move the cursor at column 0 or X axis 0 and row 0 or Y axis 0. Next, I will call another procedure name print and then type the memory variable message 1 to print the contents of that memory variable message 1. Next, I will set the for color and background color using set text color. I will move the cursor using the go to xy procedure at x axis 34, y-axis, 12, and then print the memory variable message 2. To compile this, we will first save this code. I click File, and then click Save. And then, next, I click File menu, point to launch and then select command. The keyboard shortcut is control R. The run window allows us to specify shell script command. I will type M space prog. The M stands for that M dot bat that I made that contains the shell scripts. The prog indicates the file of our assembly source code.
rogue.asm. We will not indicate the extension of that source code. Hit the Enter key or click OK to proceed now for the compilation, linking, and running of our code. I click OK button. It runs successfully. As you could see, it displays the message Programming Span at column 0, row 0. And then next, it displays another message Program Ends at column 34, row 12. An approximate center of this console window. Press any key to go back to the Notepad 2 text editor. Next, let us add some more code. I will go back to the data segment and declare another memory variables. I will declare a memory variable str value that contains 30 character spaces. Next, I will declare another memory variable output str and initialize it with this string. And then finally, I will declare a memory variable name num assign double word initialize it with 0. Let us proceed inside the code segment under the main procedure. I will type the move instruction command and then I will uh, call another procedure integer to string And then I will write another procedure called go to xy. I will move the cursor at column 0, row 1, and print the memory variable output str. Finally, print the memory variable str value. These four commands, five commands, will print the content of the memory variable num containing negative 1 on the monitor screen. Let us save and then compile, link, run, and test. Now it displays not only the two messages, programming span and program ends, it now added another message, num is negative 5. That concludes our topic for today. I hope you have learned in my class. Thank you for watching. God bless us.